A shocking video out of New York City, still stunning people no matter how many times you see this. A career criminal sucker punches a man outside of a Bronx restaurant. This incident, certainly not isolated. Clyde Boatwright is a sergeant with the Baltimore City School Police Force and president of the Maryland State Fraternal Order of Police. We have that. You've had some street brawls in Baltimore. I want to put this video up of the 7-Eleven flash mob in Los Angeles where people were out there blocking the street and decided, oh, let's go take on the 7-Eleven. Where, where, where is... Where is the system of justice in all of this? Where's law enforcement when it comes to something like this? Well, unfortunately, the system of justice is imbalanced at this point. If you call law enforcement to the situation that we see in Los Angeles, uh, then you'll have the advocates uh, out there saying that the law enforcement response was too severe. Uh, so we have to get back to a balanced system to allow our law enforcement officers to do their jobs effectively and let the court system prosecute those that Okay, so it's fine, to, it's fine to say we need a balanced system. How do you get to that balanced system? Because right now, in many cities across America, the, the scale is tipping well the other way. Well, our communities are speaking. I mean, if you look in Baltimore, we had a, a prosecutor that 70 percent of the people said that they have failed policies, um, wanted them out of the office. So we have to get back to having good policy that helps uh, keep, keep our community safe and addresses the violent crime that our communities are seeing. We, we showed the video at the top of this of this guy, Van uh, Pu Bui, in New York City. He had been let out uh, without bail on misdemeanor assault charges for this horrendous attack. But then when he went to his parole uh, hearing uh, over the weekend, his parole officer, Nixie Rivera, said, Mr. Bowie is a 55-year-old male with a persistent violent felony offender history. Mr. Bowie is a registered level three sex offender, the highest level in the sexual offender registry. Mr. Bowie continues to be an imminent threat to the community. That prompted Governor Kathy Hochul to intervene and say, put him back in jail. I mean, the steps that it took to get there seem crazy when you consider what he did. Yeah, all of these uh, people that had a hand in this gentleman being released uh, should step down or re be removed from office. Unfortunately, uh, we need our judges to step up and say that we need to put this guy in jail. The criminal justice system needs to address this violent crime, and men like this should not be allowed to be on the streets to victimize someone else. Yeah, I, th I think you'll get unanimous agreement from a lot of people on that. Clyde Boatwright, always great to see you. Thank you.